One night as the wind whispered eerie tales and the stars danced to and fro, I dreamt of the land where my forefathers trod in those times of long ago. In Boston Harbour, I saw brave men and I watched with youthful pride when they scattered the tea in a tax-laden sea to a dark and an angry tide. I wondered then as I watched these men who flouted King George's might what red-coat hordes with their glittering swords wreaked vengeance in the night. Then a voice rang out in the starry air. Stand fast, young man, be brave. Far better to die in an open sky than live like a cowering slave. In that early dawn of that April morn, I stood on a mountain tall and felt the shock of the musket shot that started first freedom's call. My spirit soared as the thunder roared. I prayed to the blazing sky to bless the hand of the gallant band who carried our banner high. In that shifting scene of my wandering dream, I rode fast to Bennington town. General Stark and his green mountain buyers were camped on the dewy ground. I gazed for a while and saw his sad smile. Then he softly said to me, The young blood will stain this Fairmont plain before our land is free. I remember that smile as I rode each mile. In my heart a dreadful chill, the blood and the sweat and the smell of death rising high over Bunker Hill. The men and the boys with their sightless eyes who lay dead before their time when they broke the chain of King George's reign in the place they called Brandywine. Then clear upon a cold night there, I heard a suffering cry. A ragged band of hungry men were slowly shuffling by. Across the valley grim and bare, I heard a bugle blow, the bloody beat of their torn feet staining the virgin snow. In the shivering scene of my nightmare dream, a tall man spoke to me. He looked grey and old in the crippling cold, but his eyes were bright and clear. He said, listen well, then you must tell of these deeds these men have done. And future days will sing their praise from dawn till the setting sun. Tell them of Saratoga, where the patriots fought and died. Of Valley Forge, of Paul Revere, who made that midnight ride. Of Copens and Kings Mountain, don't let them soon forget. Of Patrick Henry's immortal words, give me liberty or death. Remember Swamp Fox Marion, who led that wily band. Of Allen Green and Sumter, who made a noble stand. Remember, too, the mothers true who cried their tears alone. Their names will be told with the brave and the bold where'er their flag is flown. He left me then, but I saw him again standing tall near your town bay. I saw Cromwallis surrender his sword on that bleak October day. Then a tall man turned and he said to me, Young man, our fight has just begun. Like a flashing scene, I awoke from my dream and I cried in my silent room. On my way to school, I felt like a fool as my childish tears did flow. The things I had seen were all in a dream. You see, they'd happened long ago. Then I cast my eye to a building high where the flag was floating free. And I smiled to the sun for the men who had won a nation for you and me.